Leif. Next question. Metallica or Pantera? <laughs> this is opening up a big can of worms. Because we used to have uh, quite a big debate about this in TU Bruiser. <laughs> Back in the day. And uh, Jocko gave me a hard time because I grew up in the, the Metallica Black album era. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, which Jocko didn't even consider real Metallica. Uh, it was going old school. Ride, ride the lightning. Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for, for me, it was... The- you know what's funny? I used to think about Vietnam, the Vietnam War, and these guys are going to the Vietnam War, and they're they're listening to... um um. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, right? They're listening to the Grateful Dead. I mean, a, a large portion of the population was. We're going to war listening to Metallica, Kill Em All. So a little, a little mindset shift that is, there. Uh, that's pretty good. I got to say, though, uh, I think Pantera crushes Metallica. And I got to say that uh, Cowboys from Hell is probably the greatest rock song of all time. <laughs> Roger that. I'm, uh, I, actually, I actually really like the early Metallica, and then I thought that Pantera got better after that album and, and moved towards Vulgar Display of Power. Vulgar Display of Power. When they was stepped good. up and went harder. Hold your mouth for war. As, a, as opposed to Metallica, who got softer. So, dig them both. And when I got to SEAL Team 1, there was a big stereo system in the gym, and it had a glass case in front of it and they'd, they'd welded like a rod into the case where you couldn't open it you you could you couldn't open the case and it was locked shut in the first five there you remember the old days they had the the cd disc changers there was you know this was a five disc cd changer the first five metallica albums were in there and they could not be removed that if you went in the gym that's what you were listening to back in the day team one style good times <laughs>